Before starting experiments on the incandescent electric light system, many memorandums were drawn up as to a general system that would permit of the subdivision of the lights into small units analogous to gas jets and with commercial economy superior to the prevailing gas system. The result was that if it was to be successful, all the units must be worked in multiple lamps. This necessitated the creation of lamps of very high resistance to diminish the enormous investment in copper necessary if low resistance lamps were to be used. The necessity, this necessitated a very fine hair like filament of the uh, resistance material. On October 21st, 1871, numerous experiments resulted in the production of a small unit lamp of comparatively enormous resistance. The filament being under conditions of great stability, after the result, I knew that the problem approached commercial solution. While these lamp experiments continued, other parts of the general system was actively experimented upon. The dynamo, as then in vogue, was extremely in inefficient. The loss approaching 50% due to some misunderstanding among electricians, which I never comprehended. However, this, these experiments produced a dynamo of which 90% of the energy was useful. Then meters were measuring the current were used by thousands of customers and, and also a host of accessories like underground conduits, switches, sockets, etc. were necessary to make a complete system of distribution, all of which was accomplished. After the installation of the first station in New York, other improvements were added, such as a three-wire system, which reduced the copper uh, conductor requirements more than 50%. After this, many central distributing stations were introduced. In the days, I had a high opinion of the system, but I did not realize the stupendous electrical industry of today. Naturally, I am gratified to feel that I have been privileged to play a part in this vast achievement. I am proud of electrical industry of its vision, courage, zeal, and devotion to the public service, and I suspect every American feels the same way about it. It is a great reward for me and my colleagues and co-workers, many of them still living, that we have survived to see the fruits of our labors. The record is wonderful, but fine as it is, it can be made still better, and I have a feeling that in your hands it will be.